Jesus trains by storm. I believe as you go through the Bible, you see that there are various storms, but most of those storms have a purpose. There are storms of direction. God sends you into these storms. But sometimes when he can't direct you, he has to correct you. God sends you a certain direction, but you don't want to go that direction. So God prepares a storm of correction. See, all storms are either storms of direction or correction, but they're meant for your perfection. They're meant for your maturity in Christ. He says when times are hard, you got to think hard. I want to persuade you that trials don't produce faith, but they sure do test your faith. Stormy training, stormy discipling, stormy relationships. Jesus trains by storm. Storms clarify your priorities. Storms get things in line. When the storms come, you gotta go pray. Storms don't wake up Jesus. The prayers of sold out disciples wake up Jesus. He's gotta cause a storm, so we start listening. He's gotta cause a hurricane of sexual abuse, a medical monsoon called COVID-19. How about a scorching heat wave of unrest after abortion is outlawed? A major earthquake to the UK economy. A flash flood to the stock market. A hailstorm to race relations. We're in a storm. We are in a stormy time. Jesus trains by storm.